hello fellow couch potatoes welcome to my channel let's get to today's video i've always now. wanted to do a growing up hip-hop recap and now i get to do so the new season begins with tyran training in his studio when trench and his wife sincerely come by Tyran lets Trench know that TT and Egypt haven't talked. Speaking of Egypt, Trench isn't happy with her and Sam. Apparently, Egypt and Sam were allegedly involved in a physical altercation that led to an arrest. West, doing way too much. Don't never, ever, nobody they know me, don't never have me in a situation where I don't know what the f is going on. Trench is worried because the altercation included Egypt fighting and there could have been gunplay that led to one of them getting seriously injured. You ain't got no white privilege. I don't care if Sam light skin. I understand. You still a Twist is in the studio when McMain stops by the studio and learns Twist is in some legal trouble. He got caught with a gun while visiting family in Dallas. Twist is a felon and it can result in him going to prison for a long time. Mac digs into him telling Twist he should have been moving better and needs to get his stuff together. You got some gangster going on, that's that, but just riding around just to be riding around with a gun because it's cool, that ain't gangster. Being gangster is being free. Meanwhile, in Miami, Angela's partying on a yacht with Siri, Vanessa, and a few of Siri's friends. While on a yacht, Angela lets them know to Atlanta. she's going to be moving to Georgia. Angela feels the move will be better for her son, SJ, as his family is there and she'll have a support system. When did you come up with this plan? Vanessa surprised as Angela revealed she's got a home in Georgia and she suspects there's a guy Angela's involved with. Recently? Like how recent? A couple months ago? Back in LA, Trench is in a pool hall when Lazy Bone stops in for a game. This whole scene is a snooze fest. Simply because I'm in South Africa and I don't know who Lazy Bone is and so their talk yeah, 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 it's interesting, but it's boring. Yo. Jojo and Denise, they stressed and it's affecting their relationship. While they're eating, Tennis lets Jojo know she needs him to not forget about her career. This leads to a tense conversation between the two. Eventually, the couple comes to an agreement. It's at this point, Angela stops in to see her newborn nephew. Angela tells Jojo and Tenise that she's moving to Georgia and later on Vanessa stops by as well and Angela invites them to a ladies night that she and Serene are hosting. I don't know if you guys want to come out do a ladies night. Well, it's time for the ladies night out and TT shows up. Of course, Angela lets them no, she's moving to Georgia next week and Vanessa shows up leaving Siri, the last one to appear. I think I should go to here. Y'all didn't tell me. I feel like I need to have a conversation with you and Vanessa before we kumbaya. I can't just sit and be fake and kumbaya with y'all. When Siri shows up, there's tension present as soon as she sits down. In fact, Siri brings up the tension and Angela excuses herself stage left and tells the camera not to follow her why are you following me i'm fine i'll let y'all chat i'll come back in two seconds siri brings up what titi said about siri to vanessa last season but for titi it's above her and she's over it i was over it too siri is out here creating unnecessary drama and trying to remain in the storyline so siri brings up their twitter beef and how siri calls titi a bully specifically siri says she bullies egypt and sam like how does this affect you siri like the whole thing is just a made up 
she just wants to be in the storyline so bad. Which is fine. And I despite this, TT is doing her best to keep it cool and eventually Siri gets up and leaves. I don't have energy for anything that is negative, anything that is not fun anymore or not work related. So, who cares? The next day, Egypt meets up with her father Trench and his wife. Egypt's birthday just passed by and... The, the parents come bearing gifts, but the positivity doesn't last long. First, when Egypt tells them she's been MMA fighting, Trench rolls his eyes. Then Trench gets shady in bringing up her and Sam's physical altercation and legal trouble. I heard the state penitentiary take a lot of headshots. Luckily for them, Sam's out on bail. Overall, Trench's not happy. He didn't hear about it. Egypt opens up and tells them that she and Sam got drunk on Las Vegas when the altercation occurred. Then she gets mum when she doesn't confirm or deny that someone had a gun. I do not want to talk about this. Cecily then brings up Sam's bad rep and Trench is so angry he walks out. It's Man, at like this hey, point Cecily lets Egypt know Trench might be I at his wit's like end this. about Sam. Wow. I ain't hearing everything that's going on. TT did warn everyone, but they want to keep the princess happy, so who cares? Eventually, Trench returns and lets Egypt to know she needs to be open about this so he can help her. He then gives Egypt a sobering piece of reality. I go to more funerals than I go to graduations. One that's closest to me. Always go. And I can't help my kids because they don't keep it a hundred with me. I can't do nothing if don't nobody give me information. You in America. Yeah. You black. That's the only reason the cop needs to have to kill you. What are your thoughts about the episode, Couch Potatoes? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, see you soon. Hey Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.